portion of this video is sponsored by Shine Armor. Welcome back to another video, and in this video, we are finally painting the Miata. This is, this should be the second or third to last episode of this entire series, and we are nearing the end. I can't believe it's actually time to paint it. Now, last episode, when we worked on the Miata, we finished up a bunch of small things. We fixed the differential so that way it can actually drive. We fixed the door so it could actually shut. We closed the top, which is good, and then we took it for our first test drive over to the paint booth, and it, it drove so smooth. There is, there's definitely some noises, but no smoking from the the engine, no coolant leaks, it shifted so smooth, engine ran so smooth, it felt so much better than my other Miata even, which I've, I've had that one for a while, and that one I thought drove really well. So today, we are painting it. The first thing that we're going to do in order to get it ready to paint is we're going to actually wipe this whole thing down. Now I did already give it a wash, that way there's no drops that are gonna be sneaking out, but I do wanna go over this at least one more time with a cloth to wipe it down before we start taping everything up. So this is just gonna be a normal water cloth. There's nothing gonna be special about this special wipe. It's just, it's just getting this wiped down and then we're gonna tape everything up and then after that we'll hit it with alcohol, make sure every last speck of dust is completely off and then we could start the painting process. So we're gonna begin by wiping it all down pulling it into the garage and then beginning to tape it up. So let's begin. I'm gonna paint it red. All right, we are completely taped off now around the whole outside, the whole rear, the top, the front. We are all good to go. So this means that it is time for us to go ahead, give the car one final wipe with some alcohol and then go ahead and begin painting. This is the most exciting part of the entire process right now when we're finally at it. And the color, I think I mentioned before, we're painting it the same exact color as the Supra. So we're gonna be posted up in the driveway eventually with a Miata and a Supra the exact same color. It's gonna look so good. And especially with the way that this one's driving, the fact that I'm selling my other one. It's just gonna be perfect. I'm so excited about this. Without further ado, <laughs> let's get to painting. All right, it's the next day, we're in the garage, everything's painted, it's time to get the tape off and see this car almost completely complete. So, let's get the tape off. <laughs> well, this is it. Miata is completely unwrapped now in the same exact red as the Supra like I had mentioned before. It looks so much better. Each paint job that I'm doing is getting a little better than the last. So still a whole lot of issues in orange peel with this one, but it's still better than what I did on the Supra, which is a step in the right direction. So one of these days I'll actually do a really good paint job, but in the meantime, absolutely gets the job done. No longer are we having a car that's all sort of white and spotted and whatnot, but it's actually all one complete color and it looks really nice even with the defects. So this is a 
huge step. Now this isn't all for this episode today though, actually. We have more to do. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take the car all the way back to the shop and then we have to finish off everything on the interior. That means completely cleaning everything, getting it all good to go and recovering one of the seats because the seats are in not great condition and I wanna at least have those fixed up before I, I have the car completely finished. So let's get back to the shop. Oh man, that is such a good looking car. But we're not done. We have more things that we need to do today. Well, it's mostly just one more thing. I'm gonna save the final assembly of this car for the next video because there's more things that need to get done that are beyond just a one video thing. It It'd be too cramped if I put it all in. The other thing that I do want to get done today is I want to recover the seat. Now I actually already recovered this seat already, which is the passenger seat, just to give myself a test and see if it's actually something that, well, I can kind of do. And it came out all right. So it, it, it's an improvement from what it was before, absolutely. It's not perfect by any means, and it needs a little time for the fabric to actually take shape because there's still some creases in it. But it showed me that I could do it. So let's go ahead and hop in, get the driver's side seat pulled out, bring everything inside where it's, it's not really cold, <laughs> and then I'll show you exactly what's wrong with that seat, show you the process of what it's gonna look like, and then we're gonna go ahead and get that seat covered. So let's go ahead and begin by getting that old seat pulled out of the car. So here's the predicament that we're in. The seat is in not great condition. And what we mean by this is that you got a huge old tear right in the center of the seat. You got another rip up front as well as that fabric is just so cracked and old. This happens all the way up the side and you got another big tear there on the side. So all in all, it's just it's just in rough condition, but we're gonna get this fixed up completely. So what we have in order to make this happen is this seat reskinning kit that I got, which cost just over $100 or right around the $100 mark for a full kit. And that includes both the driver's side and the passenger passenger side seat. So it's it's well worth the 100 bucks to get these seats fixed up to the point of being incredibly higher quality than what they were before I got it. And as I mentioned before, with what we're doing to the car, the goal is to get it to a point where the car is essentially fixed and the grand scheme of things is to be able to resell it in order to help us fund more projects essentially. And when you look at the seat versus the cost to get it reskinned or at least to buy yourself a reskinning kit, it's just absolutely worth it. It's gonna increase the value of the car by more than $100 to have these seats in nice condition because it's one of the first things that you look at, if not the first thing that you look at when you're inspecting the interior of a car is how worn the seats are. And especially with rips like this, it doesn't matter how much work and effort we put into getting a great engine and great transmission into the car and working. If the seats are torn, the value just plummets. What we're going to do is we're gonna start by taking everything off of this seat. So we're gonna take the sides off, we're gonna disconnect it so it's in two separate pieces, the top and the bottom are separate, and then we're gonna go ahead and begin with the bottom piece. I feel like the pain in the past, it needs to stay in the past You gotta take off the cast, I 
mounts here in order to get these pinned in tightly because we don't have that same luxury of just being able to sit on this and it being in a good enough form as is. Because if you don't mount these points in, what's gonna happen is this top ridge here is going to raise the back up. So what's gonna happen is this fabric is gonna be pulled up and it's gonna look really weird and dumb and look like a cheap seat cover. So we're not going for that. We wanna do this right. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this one off and get this new one installed in. So let's get. All right, we got the top section recovered as well now. And once again, you could just see how faded and well torn up this one is in comparison to the new one that we have on. It, it, it's gonna look so much. incredible to think. I mean, going back to looking at what it was when it was all ripped and torn up, and now even with the wrinkles not even being completely sorted out yet, it just looks so much better. And the tan on the black carpet with the red, oh my goodness, it's, it, it complements itself so perfectly. This car looks so stinking good completely painted, but there is one last thing that we want to do today, and it's to clean it because there's so much dust on it, it would be a disservice for me to just be like, hey, look at it, it's red, it's great. Let's get this cleaned up, let's get it looking shiny, let's get the wheels clean, the tires dressed. So this can be perfect. In order to get the car looking as good as possible, I'm going to be using Shine Armor's Fortify Quick Coat, which is a ceramic based coating that applies super easily. To start off, all you need to do is wash and dry your car just like you normally would. Once you're done, you simply spray your microfiber cloth with the Fortify Quick Coat, spray the surface that you're covering, wipe it down, flip the cloth, and give it one last wipe, and you're good to go. You guys know how much I absolutely love ceramic coatings like this. They make washing and maintaining a beautiful shine on your car so, so easily, and this coating especially is amazing. I often have issues with streaking from other brands in the past, but the Fortify Quick Coat was so easy to work with, even working on window glass to help water run right off during the rain. I just gotta say, Black Engine Bay was the right choice. Look how good this looks. This is just, holy Moses, this contrast is beautiful. Especially with the red valve cover right there. This is, <laughs> that looks so cool. It looks even better than I imagined it in my head. I cannot wait for the headlights. They're ordered, they're shipped, they're ready to come in. We're gonna get those in. Wow, I am so happy with how the Miata looks and a huge thanks to Shine Armor for sending this out. It, it made the car look so, 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 so good. Super, super easy to apply. You just spray it right on, you wipe it off and it looks so good. I mean, just look at it. I mean, we haven't even addressed the orange peel yet and look at that reflection on the hood. This car looks amazing and we haven't even wet sanded and buffed it, which we're gonna do because painting in the cold didn't turn out so well, but, but oh my goodness, this is such an amazing coating. This is gonna make the water bead right off cannot wait for the finale episode to get this car completely finished this looks absolutely amazing i am so so happy to get to this point to be able again to go from this smashed car to this that's just incredible one final thank you to shine armor thank you so much for making this car turn into something beautiful after the paint job it, it makes me so so happy guys please go check them out their link is the top one in the description use code phil at checkout thank you guys so much for watching i cannot wait for the finale i'll see you guys next time adios